but it must have been a wrong time. I'd have said the right thing, but it must have used the wrong line. I've been on the right trip, but it must have used the wrong car. Hit us in a bad place, and I wonder what it's good for. I've been in the right place, but it must have been a wrong time. My head is in a bad place, but it hasn't such a good time. I've been running, trying to keep tongue up in my mind. Previously on Blown Away, we took our bikes along the coast to the pretty villages of Cala Figuera and Cala Santani. We also cycled inland up the hill to Castel de Santiori. This trip wasn't economic. Whites wanted 137. I'm gonna stack all this. Okay, 12 pairs of shoes, six blenders. What else is in the back? Skis, golf gear, golf trolley, jigsaw puzzles, a chair, two, three suitcases. How much um, of it's mine? So we've dropped off Nat's shoe collection into uh, her sister's, who's well happy about the, the shoes, even though she's not the same size feet. And we have now loaded up with um, we have now loaded up with uh, chain and paint and uh, what else we know about Nat? Uh, life jackets, life jackets, and paint rollers, paint rollers BQ. BQ, lots of stuff. Um, we now have a, in the region of three, two to three years worth of um, spare parts for maintenance, routine maintenance, anodes, things like that. And it saves us money in the long run and the hassle. Yeah. So that's it. So now we have to drive all the way back. It's like three days of sitting bolt upright right in the car. Okay. Yeah. It's not. You can put your chair back this time. Yeah, yeah. Yay! <laughs> now, yes. You're so silly. You didn't have your drink. 500 euros. 500 euros. Okay. So, uh, how much uh, was dinner? La Puente. La Puente. <laughs>
for a scissors event to decide who went diving. Nat won with rock, I lost with scissors, and <laughs> Nat's now going for a dive. So, Nat, how are you feeling about winning the rock, paper, scissors, baby? It's um, a bit tad chilly, baby. It's okay, I'm tough. Ooh ha. I'm a sailor. So I'll just pass like it before he freeze. <laughs> Nelson, where's she? Nelson's watching you. Okay. You have to do as much as you can by touch or feel. Do you want the torch? Okay. Yeah, I can actually. Bit of a sick move.
So, what's an anode? Well, an anode is a sacrificial strip of metal that we attach to our vessels to protect um, the metal work that is underwater. Salt water is quite corrosive, so it tends to eat through metals quite quickly. The lesser the metal, the quicker it eats it away. But the anode is made from material that's quite soft, so it erodes very quickly. I normally get about 14, maybe 18 months from a set of six anodes. So I've got six anodes on the hull and two on the rudder. And as you can see from the video, um, these anodes have barely done a year. The antifoul, um, in quite good condition, we don't have any barnacles in there, we just have a light dusting of uh, weed which just brushes off, so that's no big deal. Um, the anodes, I think, have worn away because. We've had uh, electrical currents maybe entering the marina where we've been staying and they've just gone down really quickly. So uh, I was quite shocked to see that some of the material is missing completely and we, we can't leave the boat like that for any length of time. I didn't want to haul the thing out because it's quite expensive here to get the boat lifted and that I know particularly is in very bad condition. There's nothing left of it. So we decided to dive on the boat and replace the anodes just as soon as the conditions are favourable, um, which we've now done. So that's what an anode does. Now the boat's protected again and we should have another hopefully a year or so before we need to lift the boat and do any real serious maintenance. At least that's the plan.